All right, welcome back. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time was to talk about oil pans. So I showed a little clip of uh, one made by another manufacturer yesterday, which was custom built. Moroso, they're a great partner for us and uh, they've built some really custom pans recently. Uh, you've seen that tall Hillborn or uh, Kinsler stacked engine, that one was custom. We've got a road race uh, deal that's a custom one. So they're very, very, uh, you know, universal in, in working with us and, and many other manufacturers. What I wanted to cover is if you're looking at a custom engine or stroker specifically, okay, a stroker engine, in my opinion, and Prestige's opinion, needs to have a good aftermarket oil pan. And that is for good oil control and so we can avoid windage problems. If you're not familiar with windage, that is when oil is returning back to the sump. When it's draining back, it gets caught in the crankshaft. Or for instance, you're accelerating and all the oil goes to the back of the pan. The longer the stroke from center line, so you know it's the rod journal, the longer that is, the deeper it will dip into the oil pan. So lots and lots of manufacturers start with a stock pan. We do not, okay? The only pan or the only stock oil pan that we ever, ever use is a recent, uh, well, we haven't even released it yet, called our Cruiser Series. Uh, price competitive, it's really a 350 horsepower, low compression deal and you know stock stroke with a stock stroke we will use the cheaper oil pan that is the only application i recommend that so if you're buying a stroker engine and it's got this style pan you might want to ask yourself maybe you should upgrade it 